for having me. There we go. Uh, let me just press continue. Okay. Anyway, um, thanks for being here. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. My name is Mike. I am one of the assistant directors uh, for international admissions here at Purdue University. Um, I did show a quick video at the beginning. If you were not able to see it, it just gave a brief overview of um, what it's like being at Purdue University. Um, but with that being said, I am going to go ahead and go on the quick presentation. I'm pretty sure we're going to have a lot of time at the end uh, for questions. So please do save um, your question. Um, so Purdue University is located in West Hoffman, Indiana. Um, so we are, we are a true born college town. We are about two hours south of Chicago and an hour north of Indianapolis. Um, we are part of the Greater Lafayette area. So we, Greater Lafayette is uh, divided into two, so Lafayette and West Lafayette. Um, the total population of Greater Lafayette is only about 180,000 people. Um, so that's, uh, we, we are really a small town. Um, so if you are looking for that um, college town feel, then Purdue University would be a great uh, fit for you. Like I said, uh, we are it's quite like a compact campus. It takes about uh, 15 to 20 minutes to walk from um, one end of campus to the other. Uh, we do have our very own airport, so that's excluding the airport. It can take up to 30 minutes to walk um, to the airport, but we do have our very own airport here at Purdue University. Um, and if you don't like walking, you're more than welcome to use a bike around campus. Uh, we do have a free bus uh, system that is offered to all, all Purdue students and staff. So um, basically, you can go any um, over here at Purdue, and you can even use the bus to go to downtown. Yeah. Um, we are an undergraduate university, so the majority of our students study in the undergraduate level, but we also have graduate uh, students as well. Um, you know, if you compare the 180,000 population in the greater Lafayette area, our total enrollment here at Purdue is almost 45,000 students. Um, so when the students come here, um, a huge chunk of the population of the uh, West Lafayette area is actually Purdue students. Um, so, which is great um, with that college town feel. Our average class size is 31. Our student to faculty ratio is 13 to one. Um, I can talk a little bit about the average class size. I am a Purdue alumni and I was an international student here uh, as well, I was, I'm from the Philippines, so in case you didn't notice that. Um, so my sophomore year, my biggest class was uh, about 300 students, and um, my smallest class in junior year was seven. So as you progress through your major, as you get more into more specifics of your uh, of the course of study, uh, your classes tend to be, um, it tends to be a little bit smaller um, as you progress. Um, not only are we an undergraduate university, we're also an international university. About 20% of our total uh, student enrollment um, are international students, uh, with about uh, 9,000 total international students on campus and 125 plus countries represented. Um, I believe we do have a handful of international students uh, coming from the Philippines enrolled uh, right now. Um, and we're also known uh, as an international campus. That's why we're top 10 international enrollment in the United States when it comes to STEM and students. Um, we do have 11 academic colleges and schools and two, over 200 majors. Um, I'm not gonna talk uh, about it, uh, but what I can talk about is what we're known for. Um, we're known for STEM, so science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Um, but we're also known for hotel and tourism management. I believe we are ranked fourth in the whole world. Um, we also have a really good professional flight program. Like I said, um, we do have our very own airport. In fact, um, Amelia Earhart actually is one was one of our uh, faculty when um, she was still alive. Um, here are sort of our rankings at Purdue. Um, you know, as an admissions counselor, I always remind the students that you know, at the end of the day, it's not all about rankings, but more about fit. You know, we want you to enjoy your time in college. And if you are in a rank one school and you don't enjoy your time there, four years can be a very long time. So I would rather have you go to, uh, you know, a rank, you know, rank 12 school, but you love uh, to like to study there. You love the environment, you love the community. I feel like you're going to be a lot more successful um, with that university. However, it is part of my job to talk about um, this, these things. And so, uh, we are known as a cradle of astronauts. Um, uh, we have 24 astronauts of our alumni. This includes Neil Armstrong, the first person to walk on the moon, as well as Eugene Cernan, um, the latest person to walk on the moon. 
Um, actually, that's not 24 anymore. It's 26 now okay. after the Virgin Galactic um, uh, trip that they did a few weeks back. Two of uh, people that were there are Purdue alumni as well. Um, we're top 10 public university in the United States. Uh, we do have um, study abroad options. So I know as an international student, you're technically studying abroad already, but that shouldn't stop you from taking advantage of our study abroad options. Uh, we are a tier one research university. So um, a lot of our students actually do research, um, even though you're an undergraduate. So you don't have to be a graduate student to be doing research. Um, and it's, it's fairly easy to get into research. You just speak to the professor. Um, Obviously, you want to work in as a research lab where you're very interested in at, um, and typically professors have their emails. Uh, and a lot of the students actually uh, partake research uh, with the professor that is teaching their class. Um, so just make those connections as early as you can, um, and hopefully, as a professor, you may be able to do um, research with with that professor. Um, Purdue has established our first uh, first ever computer science department in the U.S., so we are known for computer science. Um, like I said, number two aviation program. So there are a lot of rankings over there. I'm not going to go through all of it, um, but just know that Purdue is no first um, We do have 17 residence halls on campus. Uh, we don't require our students to live on campus. So, you know, if you want to save money, things like that, um, you can live off campus. But obviously, you know, at least your first year, I would highly encourage that you live on campus. It's a great way for you to get integrated and acclimated into uh, the new environment. Um, we do have dining courts as well, um, and they are located, strategically located, um, really close to the residence hall, so you don't have to walk too far um, to get food, um, and it's buffet style, so you literally just show your Purdue ID, and you go in and stay there for as long as you want, uh, which is why, you know, I think you've heard of freshman 15 already, where uh, freshman students gain 15 pounds, um, even more so at Purdue, just because we do have award-winning dining courts on campus. So I keep talking about how Purdue is a uh, college town. So you might be wondering, you know, we're not we're not in LA, we're not in New York, we're not in Boston. What is there to do at the university? Well, we have thousand or, uh, student organizations on campus, and this can range from you know gaming, academics, professional organizations, um, you name it, anything under the sun. Um, we even have a pet a puppy organization, and as you can guess, so that's what they do. They just pet puppies. Um, so definitely uh, take a look um, if you do end up coming here. And if there's an organization that you thought was there, but it, it isn't, um, you only really need yourself and three other people and you can start your own organization. And with the 45,000 students on campus, there's bound to be other people that would be interested. Um, we also have five cultural centers on campus uh, and more than 30 clubs. Support. So intramural teams are very big. We are a division one. Um, uh, Division one athletic, we're part of the Big Ten. So uh, college sports is, is a big thing um, over here. At so you're not going to run out of things to do. You're not going to be bored, I promise you. Um, you're just going to have a fun time. So now that I've I've talked about um, sort of like overview of what it's like to be a Purdue, um, now I'm going to go through like sort of the nitty gritty um, aspect of uh, the admission process. So obviously, you know, you guys are probably going to be applying to a lot of universities in the US. Um, so we you will have to apply through a common application. Um, what we would need is three consecutive years of uh, secondary school grades, so grades 9, 10, and 11. Um, eventually, we'll require you that you submit your final high school transcript, but we only really need grades 9, 10, and 11 um, for the degree process. Um, we are, we don't require um, our applicants for this upcoming cycle to submit an SAT or ACT score. Um, but if you have it, uh, we still strongly encourage you to submit it to us. The one thing that we would need is proof of English proficiency. So this could be met with IELTS, TOEFL, um, Duolingo, uh, as well as SAT and ACT. Or if you're doing IB um, or IGCSE, you are more than welcome to submit those um, scores to us and we'll be able to waive that requirement for you. And last but not least, letter of recommendation is not required, but the majority of our applicants do submit. Um, to submit one, the average of um, the average number of letters of recommendations about two per applicant. Um, so as long as we have one or two, uh, that should be more than enough for us to uh, make a decision on the application. Uh, minimum secondary school coursework, math, English, lab, science. If you are applying for engineering, um, we, we do require that you have at least 
uh, two semesters of chemistry. Uh, here are important deadlines, um, especially for the juniors right now, uh, the seniors right now. Um, November 1st is our early action application deadline. Um, it's non-binding, it's just a great way for you to know uh, your decision. Uh, so basically, if you complete your application by November 1st, you will get your admission position uh, on January 15th. Um, and it's non-binding, you will still have up until May 1st to decide whether or not you want to come to Purdue. But if you don't meet the November 1st deadline, um, January 15th is a regular decision deadline. And if you submit your um, your application, you complete your application by that time, um, you will get an admission position uh, mid-March. November 1st is also our deadline for Honors College, as well as priority application deadline for more competitive majors like computer science, nursing, professional flight. Um, if you are a US citizen, a US resident, November 1st is also um, the deadline uh, for scholarship consideration. So if there's anything that you get from this presentation, um, I hope that it's you apply early and complete your application by November 1st. Um, this is the cost of the things I know I'm we had a few questions already um, at the beginning. Um, one thing to mention is that our tuition has been frozen uh, actually for 10 consecutive years now. Um, so our return on, inve on investment for tuition is, is, is quite good. Um, however, with that being said, uh, we are the land grant institution of Indiana. So we are not able to give out scholarships to our incoming international students. Um, however, uh, if you are admitted and if you do choose to come to Purdue, you will be eligible to apply for merit-based scholarships um, once you are here and you can apply to as many as you want. And I think that's the last bit of uh, my presentation. Um, we have, a, I, I put my email on there as well in case you have like, specific questions. So definitely write down my email address, but if you just want to contact Office of Admissions um, as an international student, it's intl-admissions at purdue.edu or you can send it to just admissions at purdue.edu, that's fine as well. All right, I think now. Um, okay, yeah. thank you, Mike. Uh, do you wanna show the video you showed at the start for the people who just came in? Yeah, sure, I, I can do that. Uh, meanwhile, everyone else, if you have any questions for Mike and for Purdue, um, please um, send them to the chat and I'll be moderating in a bit. When we talk about our best moments, they include humanity's first steps on the moon. That's one small step for man. Alongside stories about the steps we're taking right now. At one of our country's greatest institutions, Purdue University. Beauty highlighted by brick, its fountains and traditions. A campus that stretches across 2,500 acres, nestled in the heart of America. Feel it in the hearts of the people here. Hardworking, welcoming, and guided by integrity. A family of students and professors who are in this together, all taking the next step, one foot in front of the other. The kinds of innovations that will help solve the world's greatest problems. Persistently pursuing, relentlessly rethinking. The next game changers, difference makers, ceiling breakers, innovators, Boilermakers. Oh, I see the smile across your face in the sunrise lights of another day. I believe. I believe. And we will never stop. We keep going because there's so much to uncover. And we keep going because discovery is in our DNA. We keep going because it's just as much about the journey as it is about the win. This isn't just a home. This is a launch pad, a community that will propel you on your course out into your limitless future, filled with promise and purpose and all the tools and resources for your personal mission, encumbered by nothing, empowered by everything. We are removing barriers and raising expectations. 
Stand up, Boilermakers, each and every one, with more than 630,000 alumni who have your back for life. Two words say it all, Boiler Up. Our greatest adventures are yet to come, and they include you and everything we will experience together when you take your next giant leap. So really, if that video didn't hype you up for previous